Hey there, welcome everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice, 1984, replayed baseball classic. And we're rolling 2d6. We read the black on the pitcher card and then the white on the batter card. And uh, let's get started. Uh, the lineup for the Astros. We're visiting in uh, New York. Doran, Bill Doran, second baseman, followed by shortstop. Uh, hold on a second. Followed by the shortstop, uh, Craig Reynolds, and Denny Walling at third base, batting third. Batting cleanup is Jose Cruz, the left fielder. Center fielder is Jerry Mumphrey, batting fifth. Batting sixth is Enos Cabell, the first baseman. Batting seventh is Terry Poole, the right fielder. Catcher, Mark Bailey, <laughs> batting eighth. And batting ninth is Mike Scott. And here's a pitch from right, right, good. Dwight Gooden with the pitch. And that is a 4-4, four, four. so that's going to be the fielding column. So we're just going to look at the batter on 4, and that's going to be an 11. It's hit to the shortstop. The shortstop is Gardner, who is a 3, so that's going to be an 11 plus 3 is a 14 with the infield back on column 4, and that's going to be a ground ball, and he bobbles it, and everybody's safe. So it's going to be an error. Flashes on the scoreboard, E6. And first batter is on. Next up is Craig Reynolds. And there's a column three, which is a two. And a five is a 32. Column three. 32, column three. And that is going to read a line out to short left field. So it hits it on the screws, but right at Foster. L7. One down. Here is Denny Wallen. And that's a one, which is a one and a five. It's strike three. And Walling swings and misses at a good and fastball. Two out. And here's Jose Cruz with a run on first. Here's a pitch. It's a five. Five is a three. And a six is a three. And that's a six, which is a base on balls on column five. And we'll double check that, and it is. So that puts runners on first and second. Good and loses Cruz. And here's Jerry Mumphrey. And that is a six, which is the power column. And a four is a 26. So that is going to be a one plus a 26 is a 27 on column six. And I can't see squat late at night. So it's going to be a 27. That's a long single to left field. The runner advances two bases. So uh, 26 plus a 1 is a 27. And that will be a single to left. Run will score. Roll one die against the runner's speed. If the die is higher. Ah, uh, with Okay, wait. Uh, with two out, runner on first may attempt to score. Yeah, we're not going to do it. Well, he's going to score because he's on second base. So it's an RBI single. And just like that, the Astros are up one nothing. Next is Enos Cabell. It's a six and a five, and that's a one and a five is a 17. That's a fly ball lifted out to left center field, and Foster and Wilson come together, and Foster makes the call, and that retires the side. But the Astros pick up a run. They lead it one nothing. Mike Scott is on the mound for the Astros, and he's going to be facing Wally back. Let's do it. Again, a six, it's a one there, and a two is a seven. That should be a base hit, and it is single to center field. So Backman strokes a single to center against Scott, and he's on it first. Here's Mookie Wilson. And again, a six. Is that four in a row or what? That's a one and one. That's a 17. That's lifted to left center field, and Cruz over. Settles under it, makes the catch one down. Next up is Keith Hernandez. 
And let's look at that hit and run number. Aha, that was hiding on me. I wasn't using that. So we're going to try a hit and run number with Keith Hernandez. There goes Backman. And that's going to be a 4, which is a 1. And a 2 on the hit and run is a 33, a 230, a 433. Oh wait, we gotta hit, use a hit and run chart. A 33 is gonna be a lead runner picked off base by the pitcher. So let's double check that. It's a, it's a one. And then the two on the hit and run is a 32. That's a 33. And the throw over to first, and they get Backman. They pick him off one to three. So Hernandez is still up, nobody on now with two outs. Oh, and I, I look like a 66. That's going to be a column three, which is a five. And a six on column three is a 52 column three. 52 column three. Is going to be a line drive to right against a Mike Scott is a righty. So against the right-hander, it's gonna be a single to right, runners advance two bases. But there's nobody on, so nobody needs to advance, but it's a two out single for Keith Hernandez. And here's Dow Strawberry, that's from the left side. And that is a two five. So it's a two there. And then column two a five is a strikeout and that retires the side, so. Strawberry chases the ball in the dirt. And we move to the top of the second, just like that. No score. We're in the top of the second inning with only one out. There's runners on second and third. It was a single by Terry Poole, a walk to Bailey, and then a sacrifice bunt by the pitcher, Mike Scott, and that's going to bring up Bill Doran. Mets are going to bring the infield in here. And let's do it. And that is a six and a five. So that's going to be a one and a five is a 17. That's a fly out to left. I believe that's going to be a sack fly. Pretty sure. 17. Fly out to left field with runner on third, less than two out. Sacrifice fly. So it is going to be a sack fly. Deep enough. And that's uh, two to nothing now. Bailey on second base, and here is Craig Reynolds. <clears throat> I get another six. It's a one and a one. That's a pop up. Shallow left back is Garden Iron Brooks, and in comes Foster. Foster. Foster makes the catch, and that retires the side. And we go to the bottom of the second. It's two nothing Astros. All right, the situation right now, we're in the bottom of the second. The Mets have come up with a couple of runs here to tie the ball game at two apiece. It was a strikeout, then a single, another single, and Brooks went to third, and then it was a walk to load the bases. Hodges went over to second, and then uh, with the infield halfway, looking for the double play, it was hit to Walling at third. He went to second for one. The throw to first was not in time, so a run scored. That left runners uh, one out with... Uh, Runners on first and or two outs with the runner runners on first and third, and then it was a ground ball that uh, went off the heel of Doran's glove that allowed uh, the tying run to score from third base, and uh, now we got first and second with Mookie Wilson coming to the plate. Score is tied, and that is a three-four. So we're going to look at a five. And a 4 is going to be a 52, and a 5 is going to be a 57, column 3. Let's see what that is. 57. Let's see if we can get to a little bit brighter here. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, that'll help. 
and what did we say that was a 52 and a 5 is a 57 and that is going to be we're going to have to pull the other chart for that and here that here it is 57 column 3 and what does it read it reads dribbler to the mound roll one die against the runner's speed so we're going to pick the slowest runner good is at uh at second base and backman is pretty fast so we're gonna have to go for good and good and speed uh let's see what it says on the pitcher card let's see what it says on the pitcher card i'm thinking that that's a speed of one so uh yep that's a speed so we're gonna go to good and and really what it says here on the 57, column 3, as roll one die against the fielders, it's really a fielder's choice. If the die is higher, he is out on the fielder's choice. So it should be higher than a 1. And it is, and they throw to third, and they tag Gooden. He's out of third. It's going to be a 1-5 to five fielder's choice, and that ends the inning. But the Mets pick up a couple of runs. I got my, my, uh, my dog is a little bit nervous right now because there's some thunder outside, and she does not like the, the thunder. So she gets kind of whiny. There's no emergency or anything here. It's just a little bit of thunder outside. So she's unsitting under me, and uh, she wants me to pay attention to her. So it's all tied up at two. We're going to the top of the third. It's uh, good and on the mound versus Terry Poole. We'll be back. All right, uh, we are in the top of the sixth inning, and the score is three to two, Astros. It's going to be Jose Cruz leading us off against Dwight Gooden, and it's a five, which is a three, and a four is going to be a strikeout. So one down. Next up is Jerry Mumford. And that's a four and a four, and a four is going to be a one. So that's bounced to the second baseman. Backman sets his feet and throws out Mumphrey. Two down. And here's Dino's Cabell. That's a two, which is a one, and a five is going to be a 51 column two. And that's bounced to the second baseman. Nice hop for Backman. And that retires the side. Three up, three down for Gooden. And we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's going to be Daryl Strawberry leading off against Mike Scott. Let's see what happens. That's are down by one. And that's going to be a one on Scott and a five is a 17. That's a deep drive to the opposite field. Mumphrey and Cruz come together at the warning track and it's Cruz who makes the catch. And here's George Foster. That's a 4-4, and that's going to be an 18 to the shortstop. Shortstop Reynolds is a 2, so that's a 20. A 20 with the on 4 with the infield back. It's going to be an out of first. So Craig Reynolds scoops it and fires the first in time for out number 2. And here's Yuvi Brooks. And that is, again, a fielding column. It's a 1. It's a 19. The 1 is going to be the first baseman. First baseman is Enos Cabell. So it's a 19 plus Enos Cabell's defensive number, which is a 3. So it's a 22 with the infield back, a 22. And that's going to be a ground ball and past the diving Cabell into right field. Poole throws it into Doran. And it's a two-out single for Brooks. I believe that's his second hit of the day. And here is Ron Hodges who has two hits today. And here's a pitch, and that is a five, which is a one. And a six is a four. And that is a bouncer to the second baseman, and that will retire the side. We go to the top of the seventh. All right, 
Castillo is the pitch from Dwight Gooden. That's a five, which is a three. And a four is a five, and that's bounced to shortstop. Scooped up by Garden Iron, throws out Poole for out number one. Here's Mark Bailey. That's a two, which is a one and a six. That's strike three, and Bailey swings and misses at a good and fastball. And Mike Scott, the pitcher. That's a five, which is a three, and a three is a four, and that is bounced to the second baseman. Backman flips to Hernandez, and that retires the side. Again, three up and three down for Gooden. Need the Mets offense to come alive and score a couple of runs for him. Gartenheimer is batting 248 in our replay. It's 137 at bats. Now Scott will remain. He's already pitched six innings, six innings, uh, six innings, and you can see that S6 up there. Um, so if he allows a, a base runner, that's when he flips his card around, he becomes a B. And that's a six and a four. It's a one there. And a four is a 57. So that's going to be a, uh, it's a 57 plus a one is a 58 on column six. 58 on column six is a single over second base. So Gardner strokes one to right center field, and he's on with a single. And that will flip Mike Scott around to his B side. And it's going to bring in it up uh, Dwight Gooden, and we will get Dwight Gooden to, to sacrifice. All right, so let's do it. It's going to be the two, which is the, it's going to be the first baseman. First baseman and a sacrifice is a 15. So I believe Cabell was a two fielding. Now he's a three fielding. So we have a, a 15 plus a three is an 18 with the infield in, and that is going to be popped up to first base. One down. Wally Backman is up next. And we're going to try hit and run. Um, so we're going to use Scott's hit and run column. And we're going to roll a four there, which is a one. And a four here, which is a 19. So that's going to be a 20 on column four. Well, there's no column at this point. Uh, because it's just a straight up 20. It's a one on the pitcher. And it's a 19, so that's a 20, and that is going to be line out into a double play. So it's line to the first baseman. Cabelli steps on the bag, and that retires the side. So I guess that would be... Uh... Three unassisted double play. So it's line out, first base, and then... Uh... And that retires aside. So unfortunately, it didn't work out for the Mets. And here comes the top of the order. So Gooden is still okay. Gooden can go eight. So after this inning, then we'll start looking to see. Here's Doran. That's a four and a five, and that's going to be bounced to the shortstop. Guard and iron, and he throws him out. One down. Craig Reynolds is next. Remember, it's a three to two ball game here in the bottom in the top of the eighth was only one out. Here's Craig Reynolds. It's a six, which is a one, and a three is a seventeen. That's going to be a strikeout. He's got that little uh, dagger. And here's Denny Walling with two outs. It's a five five. It's a three, and it's a forty three column five. So that's something I don't even know what that's going to be. 43 column five, and that's a base on balls. So a two out walk allowed by Gooden. I believe that's only his second walk of the day. So he's had uh, pretty good control. Well, that's his third walk of the day. Still had pretty good control. And, uh, and here's Jose Cruz with a runner on first base and two outs. Here's a pitch. Again, that's a five five. It's a three. It's a 24 column five, and a 24 is going to read a single back, back of first base. And runner I 
me see what that is. It's a plus sign, and that's a, oh, it's a runner's advance one base. Chance for extra base on an error. Plus chance for the extra base on an error. All right, roll one die against the fielder's small error number. So it was a um, 21, 24. So that is going to go to the first baseman. And that's Hernandez. So this is hardly going to be an error because he's got a no. I think he's got a two. His small error number is a two. So if the die is higher, batter and runners advance one base. So I don't see it being any. Yeah, it's going to be an error. So it's going to be a single, and then runners advance. We're going to do a single plus an error. Single plus an error. First baseman, runner to third. No, let's back up. All right, so let's do that again. It's a single. And batter goes to first, or to second, and there's going to be an error. On the first baseman. Let's see what that looks like. Second and third. For Mumphrey with two outs. So this is a big pitch for Gooden. Mets have uh, two runs, eight hits, two errors. The Astros have three runs, four hits, and one error. Two outs. Walling is on a third. Cruz is on a second. Here comes Jerry Mumphrey. Mumphrey today is 0 for 3, batting 298 on the season. Here's the pitch from Gooden. Some action in the Mets bullpen. And that is going to be a 4 and a 4, and that is going to be bounced to the shortstop. Easy play for Gardner, and that retires the side. So Dwight Gooden works him his way out of that jam. And here comes Mookie Wilson against Scott, who's still in there pitching. So bottom of the eighth now. The Mets are down by one run. There's definitely action in the, in the bullpen. One runner gets on, and we're bringing in a really good pitcher. It's a 5-5. Five, five. It's a 4. And a 5, it's a 23. Column 5, that's a base hit. A little topper in front of the plate. And we may be able to get another, it's to the, uh, there's a 19 plus a 4, 23. That's going to be a, to the catcher. So let's see if we can get an error out of this. His small error rating is a 2. So anything higher than a 2 and it's an error, it's a 4. So it is going to be an error. So that's going to put the tying run at second base. A single plus an error. Give the error to the catcher. And that's going to be it. Uh, we're going to bring in um, we got two lefties coming up. So we're going to see who if we can pull a lefty from the bullpen. Call on a lefty. We got uh, DePino's going to come in. He is their closer. So Frank DePino's going to pitch. So why waste any time? Let's see what happens. He's going to bring in his A side. And he can go five. That doesn't include the intentional walk. So we're going to intentional. Well, that's going to put the go-ahead runner on. So we're not going to do that. We're going to pitch to Keith Hernandez. Don't like to do that. All right. This is the situation. We're in the bottom of the eighth. The Mets are down three to two. We're in July. Uh, and it's Houston leading this game with uh, the closer, DePino, just getting called in. He's on on the mound against Keith Hernandez and Daryl Strawberry and then Huey Brooks. There's nobody out with Mookie Wilson at second base. He's got good speed, so here goes the pitch. And that is a two and a six. It's gonna be a one and a six is gonna be a 17 on column two. And that is gonna be a strikeout with a runner on third, less than two outs, scored a sacrifice, but no, he's not on third, so it's gonna be a fly out to left field. Route number one. And here's 
freestyle strawberry. And that's a one and one again and a four is strike three. And he gets strawberry swinging, big swing. And here's George Foster. And that's a six and a four, it's a one there. And a four is gonna be a 41, so that's gonna make it a 42. So we're looking to look at column six and a 42. And that is gonna read a line drive to left, base hit. And runners advance one base. Roll one die against the defensive rating of the left fielder. Left fielder is Jose Cruz. So Jose Cruz is a four out there. So what do we say it was? He said it was a 40, a 42. So if, if the die is higher, it's going to be a double. So it has to be a higher than a four, and it is not. So it's going to, they're going to hold it to a single, and Wilson's going to have to stop. Single runners advance only one base on that. Throw one die against the defensive rating of the left fielder. If the die is not higher, play it as a single. If the die is higher, it's a double. Runners advance one base. Roll one die again with the runner on first base. If the die is higher, then the left uh, the die is higher than the left fielder. Once more, he scores. Okay, so. Right, so it was a runner on second, so he would have scored anyway. So I guess only if if you're you're successful the first time will you roll again. So I was unsuccessful, so that's gonna put runners on first and third. And it's gonna bring up Huey Brooks. Now Huey Brooks today with here two out in the bottom of the eighth. Brooks is two for three, he's batting two eighty eight. Let's see what happens. And that is a 64. It's going to be a 1. And a 4 is going to be a 57. So that's going to be a 58 column 6. And a 58 column 6 is going to be single over second base. Runners advance one base. A 5 speed scores. Well, he's on a third, so he'll score. With two out runners, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which Foster should be. He is a three, so he will get the extra base move to third. So the Mets have tied up the ball game against Frank DePino here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And up comes Hodges. And we're going to see a pinch hitter for Hodges because uh, he's a lefty and we don't want. Uh, and who are we going to bring in to hit for Hodges against the lefty DePino? And. Uh, let me see if I have Jerry Martin. I'd like to bring Jerry Martin just... Yep, I got Jerry Martin. So he's going to pinch hit. I've not used him yet. And what I do, I kind of put these guys in because I use the Mets all the time. So I kind of protect them with these sleeves. These are very cool sleeves. Use them. I use them for my baseball cards as well. So you can use them for your baseball cards, which I have... A a bunch all over the place. For example, I have my, uh, I'm doing my fall classic replay, so I'll put uh, this guy, Rick Lankford, into the protective sleeve. I have my pitching staff out. All right, so Jerry Martin is up with runners on first and third. And here's the pitch from Pepino. And that's a 1, and a 6 is a 46, column 1. 46, column 1, that's going to be a strikeout. And that will end the inning. But the Mets pick up a run, they tie it up. And we go, 
Vincent's going to need a new catch here. We're going to bring in Mike Fitzgerald. So Mike Fitzgerald is behind the plate. Martin and Hodges are both out. Oh, there's Hodges. And uh, Gooden is still in the game here in the top of the ninth inning. So if he allows a base runner, uh, he will become his go to his B card. This B side, if you will. So we're going to do this. Here's Nino Cabell leading us off. And that's a 2, which is a 1, and a 5 is a 51. And that's a bouncer to second base. I memorized that one. Easy play, easy pickings for Backman, who throws out Cabell, the speedy Cabell. And here's Terry Poole. Pitch from Gooden. A 6 and a 4. It's a 1 and a 4. It's a 22 on column 6. And that may be one of those odd hits to the infield. And that is going to be a long hit to left field. Base hit. And Terry Poole is on. Remove to the B side with Gooden. And it's Mark Bailey. Terry Poole is on at first. We're going to try. Oh, he strikes out a lot. So we're not going to. We're just going to swing away. Got a little power. So it's going to be a five there. And a two is a six. That's a base on balls. And that's going to be it. It's going to be it for Dwight Gooden. The pitcher's coming up. So we're going to see a pinch hitter. And let's see who we can bring in. Uh, we're going to bring in Alan Ashby. He's a switch hitter. So Ashby's going to pinch hit. And for the Mets, pitching-wise, we will bring in... We have to pull a double switch because the pitchers do up next inning. So we will bring in... Uh, let's see. Danny Heap is going to bat. And then the new pitcher is going to go into Foster's spot. And it's going to be Sisk. All right, so that's it. Quick double. And I think from now on, after this year, we won't have to do any more double switches because um, because I, I think pitchers aren't going to bat anymore. That's going to be it for double switches. We won't have to do those anymore. It'll be unusual if we pull one of those. So it's going to be Danny Heap on left field. We're going to pull uh, George uh, Foster. And here's Alan Ashby, the pinch hitter, bang from the left side. With first and second against Sisk. Here he is. That's a one, which is a three, and a three is an eight, column one. And that is a pop-up middle of the infield. Gardner calls everybody off, and he makes the catch. Two down. So Ashby pops it up for out number two. With the go-ahead run here in the top of the ninth at second base in the speedy pool. And here's Doran. Switch hitter. Here's a pitch from Sisk. That's a three, which is a one. And a two is a three, column three. And that is a short fly ball to center field. Racing in is Wilson. Slides and makes the catch. Great catch by Mookie Wilson. And that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the ninth here at Shea Stadium. And uh, coming up is Gardner, the pitcher. No, actually, we did a double switch, so it's going to be Danny Heath. 
and then the top of the order. And the Pinot's out though, right? The Pinot's out, so who are we gonna bring in? We're gonna bring in the closer Smith. Dave Smith is a right-hander. He's gonna face Gardner. Here he goes. All right, a four is a fielding column, and a five is a bouncer to the shortstop. Easy pickings for Reynolds, and he throws him. Oh, low throw, but scooped out nicely by Cabell. And uh, here's Danny Heap. Where did I put him? Here's a pitch to Heap. He's back from the left side. That's a six and a three. It's a three there. And a 19. And that's a deep fly ball right center field. Back goes Pool on the run. Is he going to get there? Yes. He makes the running catch on the warning track. And here's a two out. Wally Backman is up. Where'd where Backman, where Backman go? He vanished. Backman vanished. He's somewhere, I just don't know where he is. Let's find him. He's hiding between some cars. All right. So Wally Backman's up with two out. Let me fix that because Gordon and I already batted. These guys batted. Oh, there we go. Top of the order, Wally back with two out, nobody on. Here's a pitch. We need a triple. So five, which is a two and a two, is bounced to the third baseman. Walling charges it, fires the first in time to retire the set. Doug Sisk is still in there. He can face six batters. Here's Reynolds leading off. That's a one, which is a three, and a four is an eight, and that's popped up. That's to the center field. Uh, no, it's in shallow center field. Back goes Gardner. He calls it a. He calls off everyone who makes the catch. One down. Danny Walling. Top of the 10th inning with one out. That's a two, which is a three, and a three is a 34. So that's going to be a 37 in column two. 37 in column two is going to say ground ball to second base. And in the hole is Backman on one knee, fires the first, and got him. Nice play by Backman on a ball pulled into the hole. And here's Jay Cruz, two out. He's a 300 hitter. That's a two, a which is a three, and a five is a 19, column two, and that is a fly ball. Right center field on the run is Strawberry, and Strawberry comes up with it to retire the side. We are in uh, free baseball territory. Free baseball territory. Dave Smith, the closer against Mookie Wilson. Here's a pitch. And that's a three, which is a one, and a six is a 63, column three. That may be a rare play. No, it's a line drive. Base hit center field. If there's a runner on second, no. So that's a single. So a leadoff single, and let's see how many uh, Smith has faced four batters, and I believe he can face five, and then he has to give up a hit or a walk. Or... So Keith Hernandez, we're going to try again. We're going to try to hit and run with Keith Hernandez. See if we can get it to work. Let's look at his card. Here goes. So it's a one and a six. It's a four. 
And the 6 is a 26, so that's going to be a 30. Hit and run. A 30 is going to be a, a ground rule double. So that's a drive into the gap. And that's going to be one hop over the wall. And unfortunately, that would have been the game right there because that would have scored Wilson. But it's going to go for a ground rule double. So I, uh, and we're going to double check that. So four there on the hit and run, and the hit and run here on the on the six is a 26. So that's 30 total, and that is a double, a ground rule double. I think this is like the only game that I've seen a ground rule double on. And that's going to put runners on second and third with nobody out here at Chase Stadium. So the few remaining fans are on their feet. Infield is in, the outfield is in for Daryl Strawberry. And it looks like they're going to walk Daryl Strawberry to load the bases. And here comes the pitcher. So we're going to get uh, Rusty Staub is going to get the call. That's right. Rusty, old Rusty Staub, like Ron Ron. Going to get the cobwebs out. Takes a few practice swings. And Orozco, Jesse Orozco is getting up just in case. Mets have the bases loaded with nobody out here in the bottom of the 10th inning. Can't get any more exciting than this. Especially if you're a Mets fan. Dave Smith on the mound. Smith can pitch to five batters. And so far he has pitched to six batters. And the last one doubled, so that's going to flip him around. Actually, it was an intentional walk. So he's still he's still good. He's pitched a five. So he's still good because it was an intentional walk. All right, so base is loaded. Winning run is 90 feet away here in the bottom of the 10th. The ball, the game is tied 3-3. The Astros with three runs, five hits, two errors. The Mets with three runs, 13 hits, and two errors. So the Mets have a lot of hits. They left a lot of men on base. So here it goes. Here's the pitch from Smith at the infield in. And that is going to be a 5-3. So that's going to be a 2. And the 3 is going to be a 2. Oh, boy. So we got a 2 there and a 2 there. That's a 4 on column 5. With the infield in. And what does it say? says, out at first as lead runner holds. No. If lead runner is forced to run, he is out on a fielder's choice. So they're going to throw out on the, where we say it was, 2-2. Two, two, it's going to be to the second baseman. 2-3-4. Yep. It's going to hit right at Doran. And going home is Wilson. It's going to throw to the catcher for the force. It's going to say 4-2, fielder's choice. Bases are still loaded. That was a bad roll. Jesus. All right, so bases are still loaded, and then the infield in for Hubie Brooks. So here goes. Let's go Mets, Hubie Brooks. Again, a 5-2. So that's a 2, and a toe. Oh my God. A two and a one, so that's going to be a three, column five, a three. This time it's going to be the same result, but it's going to the third baseman. So it's going to be the first baseman, and the first baseman is going to go home another fearless choice. This time it's three to two, and there's two outs now. So the Mets are one out, well, one out of the, the Astros are one out away from getting out of this major jam with the bases loaded in the bottom of the 10th. Holy smokes, I can't believe that. Here's Mike Fitzgerald against Dave Smith. And that's a two and a one. It's a two there, and a one is going to be a 40, I believe, on it. That's going to be a strikeout, and that will end the inning. Column two and a 40. Actually, it's a 41. Column 2 and a 41 is going to be a squat. 
That's going to be a ground ball right back to Smith. Picks it up. Fires the first in time. And holy smokes. They get out of a walk-off situation with the bases loaded and nobody out. With two fielders' choices and a ground ball back to the to the pitcher. Here is Mumphrey. And we get uh, Jesse Orozco's coming in now. So it's going to be Orozco. He's on his ace side for five batters, at least. Here's Jerry Mumphrey leading off. Here's the pitch. That's a six, which is a three, and a three is a fly ball. Medium right field, Strawberry sails under it and squeezes it for out number one. Enos Cabell. That's a six and a three again. It's a three and a three, and that's popped up to a shallow right field. Racing in is Strawberry, and Strawberry is there for out number two, so he's getting a workout. And here's Terry Poole. And that is a four and a five. A five is going to be an 18 to the shortstop. Gardner, who is a three, that's a 21 for the infield back. And that's a base hit off the infielder's glove, off Gardner's glove. This is a two out single for Terry Poole. He's on it first. Here's Mark Bailey. And that's a two and a six. It's a one there, and a six is a strikeout. And that retires the inning. All right, so Gardner is leading off against, well, this will be Dave Smith's third inning. He's not on his B side yet. So let's see, we'll, we'll push him a little bit more. Because, you know, I I don't know how many, I have a, actually I have plenty of cards, believe it or not. They give you a lot of extra ball players. You know, it's, especially for back then when everybody, you know, kind of, you use the same guys normally. So uh, I got a bunch of players here. I got most of the players here. So I'm looking, but the relievers are always tricky. I got Vern Rule. And I've got... Uh, let's see if I got Vern Rule in this set. I love these tall pitcher cards. They made me come back to replay. Makes it much easier to play. Super duper easy. Especially for me, I can't really see so much, so I can't uh, be looking at so many numbers. 3-3. Three, three. Bottom of the 11th. Dave Smith versus Gardner. Then Heap. Then the top of the order. Come on. Let's do it. A 5, which is a 2, and a 1. That's bounced to the third baseman. Picked up by Walling, and Walling throws out Gardner for out number one. Got to stop rolling that five. Danny Heap is up next. Oh, and that's a three. That's better. A one and a two, and that's a three. Column three, and that's a fly ball, I believe, just from memory. And that is a fly to center field. Covering ground is Montfrey. Out number two. And here's Wally back there. And bottom of 11, two outs, 3-3. Three, three. That's a 1 and a 5. It's a 1 and a 5 is a 36 it's going to be. On column 1, 36 should be a walk, I believe. No. Uh, 36, column 1. It's a strikeout. All right, so that ends the inning. Wally Backman swings and misses at a high fastball. And we go to the top of the 12th inning. Jesse Orozco. Mets have not been able to barely, they've struggled to 
After the, having the bases loaded, they haven't been able to get anybody else on. Here's Jesse Orozco. Against, oh, it's time to bring in a pinch hitter for Dave Smith. And uh, we're going to bring in Phil Garner, pinch hit, to lead it off. So there's Phil. Here's a pitch from Orozco. That's a 5-5. Five, five. That's gonna be a three and a five. Ooh, that, now you get a now you get the tall numbers. It's a seven. So altogether that's a ten on column five, and that should be something worthwhile. A ten is gonna be a base on balls. So they walk Orozco walks the leadoff batter. And that brings Doran, and we're going to bunt. Sack bunt. That's a three. It's going to be bunted to the third baseman. Infield is in. And um, bunted to the third baseman. Infield is in. That three on the bunt is a two. Plus the third baseman is a three. That's a five. And that is a good sacrifice. It's going to go five to three.